When I heard the CD of our next guest, it totally blew me away. Now I get many CDs on my desk, but this one did it for me. Joining us in the studio is Peggy Otis. Peggy, thank you so much for Thanks joining for us. Me. Now, I tell you what, it's I get CDs sometimes 10 a week, sometimes more, and they just pile up on my desk until I get to it. I got yours from church, got to my office, put it in, and it just slapped me upside my head like, boom, I was like, God. hello, who is this? You know, and I thought we had to get to meet you. Yeah. Uh, your album is called My Offering. Yeah. Why did you choose that title? I had um, gone through a dry season, I call it, my wilderness experience. I'd gone through all of this stuff happening at the same time where the enemy had um, attacked my home, my ministry, lost my brother, and I was in a very empty place and didn't quite know how God was going to bring me out, how he was going to turn it around for my good, like his word says. But somehow, I don't know how, but I'm glad he did, he was able to restore joy and restore peace. And he gave me a blessing, my son, that I had hoped and prayed for for a while. And so I was in a place of thanksgiving, a place thinking, how can I say thanks? How can I expressed to him that I am grateful. And I had a strong desire to sing again. I had lost that. So I thought I was going to put a project together, put all the songs that are personal, and give it back to him as my offering. That's where the name came from. I wanted it to be a personal experience, me giving God back my offering, but at the same time be able to carry people along in worship with me. So now here you are, you hail from Africa, you sing what some will call gospel, some might call praise and worship, but you're in a church where you're one of the few, if not the only black worship leader. <laughs> we have a few of them. <laughs> How does that happen? You know, uh, the best you can be is be yourself with God. And mm. for me, I, I have um, learned from an early age that being yourself is what will make you worship God and make your worship authentic. I have my African background for a reason. God allowed me to come from that side for a reason. And um, if we're talking about the project, I wanted to make it authentic. I wanted to make it genuine. Mm -hmm. So I, I put a blend of African praise and a blend of contemporary praise and uh, real intimate worship because I wanted it to capture the essence of who I really am as a worshiper of God. And all of those elements uh, make up who Peggy is. Now, of course, you worked with a producer in Nigeria, but also you worked with one of the most successful exports we've had in Africa, uh, a producer who now lives in, in Hollywood. Yes. Uh, so you had all that going on, uh, but the songs are written by you yourself. I wrote a couple of the songs. Mm. And the producer we were talking about, Dr. Turimiro, we went to school together back at home in Nigeria. And he heard my first single and he was excited and mm -hmm. actually got in touch with me and said, I need to be a part of this. I'm like, from where would that come from? <laughs> now, now stop. So you're just minding your own business. Yes. And this, this hot producer who's <laughs> like, I know people in London who are trying to get hold of this fella and they can't get hold of him. And he just happens to hear your stuff and just calls you and you just happen to go to Hollywood to record your record. Come on, woman. That's God for you. Wow. You know, in scripture that says if we delight ourselves in him, mm. that he will grant us the desires of our heart. He knows exactly what's best for you. I was having fun doing my singing. I wanted it to be a personal experience with him. So after he heard the first single, he called me. Oh. and wanted to be a part. But he had a condition. He said he was going to work on a song that I wrote. He didn't want to do anything to anybody else. So I'm like, oh, I'm not so sure if my song is good enough. He says, send it to me. Let me be the judge of it. So wow. I sent it to him, and he was like, forget it. We are doing your songs. And wow. uh, God used him to help to bring my vision to life. So now, what have been some of the encouraging highlights of the journey, especially for someone who might be watching in, in the Caribbean or in Europe or in Africa, who's an artist and they feel, they feel you know, I need everything in place before I can go. Uh, but you didn't have anything in place uh -huh. and he, here you are. What are some of the encouraging things that's kept you going with this project? I believe when you concern yourself more with knowing who God is, wanting to know who he is, wanting to have a relationship with him and trusting that he's able to take you to where he really wants you to be at his time and in his own way, it makes it all easy for you to worship and be yourself.